HR Party of One is brought to you by Burning Portal. What is a pension plan? A pension plan is an employee benefit plan established or maintained by an employer or by an employee organization that provides retirement income or defers income until the end of employment. Pension plans are guaranteed retirement programs that promise workers a specified monthly benefit upon retirement. They're commonly available to union workers, federal employees, service members, and veterans, state and local government employees, and other private workers. What's the difference between a pension plan and a 401k? Pension plans and 401ks fall into two categories. A 401k is considered a defined contribution plan because your pension depends on the contribution to your 401k account and earnings on investments of those contributions. This means that the employee will receive a balance based on contributions plus or minus the gain or losses on investment. On the other hand, a pension plan falls into the defined benefit plan category because it offers set monthly benefits that the employee is guaranteed to receive upon retirement. Upon hiring, the employer will commit to sponsoring the pension plan. How are pension benefits decided? The plan could offer a specific dollar amount such as $500 per month at retirement or it may calculate a benefit through a plan formula that considers factors like average salary and years of service. Pension plans are referred to as defined benefit plans because they are based on a defined formula. The formula multiplies years of service by the employee's final average salary by a benefit multiplier or accrual rate of typically 2%. Unlike 401ks, which largely depend on returns on investment, the defined benefit plan amount is based solely on the pension formula. Let's look at an example of how to calculate a pension benefit. Let's say Jessica worked for your company for 45 years and has a final average salary of $87,000. You would calculate her guaranteed yearly lifetime income benefit by multiplying the three factors. 45 years of experience by 2% multiplier by $87,000 a year equals $78,300. Jessica will receive $78,300 per year upon retirement. Let's say Jessica has 30 years of service. How would that change her lifetime income benefit? 30 years of service by 2% multiplier by $87,000 a year equals $52,200. As you can see, pension plans are often used to incentivize employees to stay at a company for many years. If Jessica stays at company X for 15 more years, she will receive $26,100 more in yearly income. To pay out Jessica's pension benefit, the employer can either set aside funds in advance and invest them to cover the retirement payments it makes to its employees, or the employer can pay funds directly from their own pocket. Many organizations opt to create and manage pension funds to ensure there will be enough money to cover employees after the retirement and not run into any compliance issues. According to the Department of Labor, federal law requires that retirement plans fund promise benefits adequately and keep plan assets separate from the employer's business assets. This ensures that employees still receive their benefits even if the employer goes bankrupt. It's important to keep in mind that most employers are phasing out the traditional pension plans and replacing them with defined contribution plans like 401ks. Most employers no longer want to commit to paying employees for the rest of their lives because it can be both expensive and unpredictable. Defined contribution plans leave the responsibility of planning for retirement to employees and release employers of that burden. Bernie Portal's BIN admin and payroll features make contribution plan calculations even simpler. Employees can elect their benefits at open enrollment and payroll will automatically account for employee and employer contributions. That's it for this episode. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about our newest episodes, which are released every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, thanks for watching.